Good morning, everyone. It's a lovely overcast Sunday morning in Beverly Hills, and I'm a creature of habit, so I'm doing my normal Sunday Beverly Hills farmer's market shopping. I love to do it. It reminds me of being in France as a kid, and I thought I'd show you some of the specific things and places I like to shop here at the market. So if ever you're in Beverly Hills, you can check it out yourself. So let's take a look around. So for many years, I've always tried to take care of my skin, and there's a company here called Clean Living fine soaps and products and in our home we basically live chemical free uh, we don't use chemicals or products uh, pesticides anything of that nature and uh, we try to have very clean food and clean products to use and even though I have an amazing skincare uh, lady Vera Bella Vera Vera Cantor who I've used for 35 years in addition I do like to buy a lot of uh, the products here from clean living um, they're all made by a gentleman who won't go on camera <laughs> that I can't talk about so I thought I'd share some of the products I like. The hand cream is really exceptional. Uh, the Overnight Essential Anti-Aging Cream I really love. The Morning Dewy Glow um, Oil. It's not really an oil, it's kind of a cream. And then the face oil. Um, and also the soaps. They have really amazing soaps. And they're all made by hand. But look at some of these wonderful types. Green Tea, Lemon Sky, Dermal Detox, Cafe Au Lait, The Ritz. Really, really, really lovely soaps um, and they're all natural very clean products hey Ahmed how are you thank you Christopher I appreciate that oh and there's wonderful body scrubs you have lime geranium French lavender eucalyptus orange vanilla citrus you have lovely little gift packages if you want to give them as gifts but they're really really wonderful products and um, like I said aside from the really great ones for my skincare lady I love to use these as well particularly the soaps well, I guess almost all of them. <laughs> so that's just, I thought I'd just share this particular booth. So our farmer's market is here, and I know you guys have seen these videos before, but it's here every Sunday from 9 a.m. till 1 p.m. And uh, I would say we probably buy most of our vegetables here at the market. They're all locally grown from local vendors, so they're all uh, locally grown products. And interesting thing, in our we go to acupuncture every week. We have a Chinese doctor. And one of the things in Chinese medicine, you should always buy and eat products that are grown locally near where you live and were born. So we were born in LA, we live here, and uh, so we try to buy products that are here locally. Uh, this is my friend from Kiama. Bonjour, ça va? Très bien? <laughs> She's French, and they have the best apples. Uh, we love apples, they're really, really, really great. And uh, just as a little trick, um, they don't have them today, but you know the green apples? I forget what they're called. Um, Granny Smith, I think. In France, as kids, we used to use those. You bake them, and uh, they're absolutely delicious. You take a Granny Smith apple, you core it. We don't use any more butter, but you can put a little bit of butter inside. Um, you know, put some cinnamon if you want, sugar. We don't put sugar. We just bake them natural with nothing, and they're absolutely, absolutely delicious. Ooh, a bread vendor. We don't eat bread, but this, these breads look amazing. Yeah, the soaps really are amazing, Dorina. I have to tell you, they're really wonderful. They don't last too long because they're homemade and they're, I don't know what they're made of, but they don't really last too long. And, um, but anyways, they, they are terrific soaps. So um, actually, since we're here, landscaping is an important part of um, getting the best price when we sell homes. So I do often recommend certain plants to clients. Bougainvillea does really, really well here in the LA marketplace. So when I go to list a house, I will meet with the clients, and if there's some lacking in the landscaping, I will definitely advise them where to go to buy some plants. But these are beautiful. Look how beautiful these bougainvillea are. The colors are really wonderful. And they kind of gr are green year-round. Uh, and these are also, I forget the name of this plant. I have some at home, and they're quite pretty. They have these lovely little buds. Purple, I have purple ones at home. I like to keep everything monochromatic. Oh, and that's important. I think if you're doing a landscape design, try to keep the colors monochromatic that will go with the style of the house so it's important to do that because otherwise you got all sorts of colors and it's a bit confusing to people so so lovely plow flowers it's always good to have good landscaping this is one of our peach vendors peach grapes etc there's screens everywhere now because there's a new uh, Asian fruit fly, I believe, that has taken over L.A. 
Um, so we have to be careful that we don't spread those fruit flies around. So it looks like the... Um, hey there, Jamie. How are you? <laughs> Bonjour, Clive. Comment ça va? Bonjour, Agnès. Enchanté de vous voir. So I, I wish I could go in there and play with the animals. I love the animals, but all the kids are having so much fun. Let's take a look at some of these animals. Hey, babies. Hey. Hey there. Hi there. Oh, aren't you sweet? Hi there. Oh, aren't you a cutie? And I have to share one thing. I used to enjoy eating meat. Um, I really try not to eat any meat anymore. Every once in a while I do. But when I see these lovely creatures, whether it's a goat or a lamb or a cow or a sheep, I don't know, I love animals and I just don't know how, for myself at least, I just really can't eat meat anymore. So look at that little cute pig, right? Isn't <laughs> she cute? Hey there, babies. Aren't you cute? Hey there. Oh, there's a little one. Hey there, little one. Oh, you want more petting? Okay. <laughs> Sometimes they have camels. No camels today. They do have the chickens, which is fun. And lots of goats. Look at that one. That's a big one. <laughs> and then the pony rides. There's the pony rides. Oh, not very far, just down the block, but... There's a big line for the pony rides. Hey, Jill, how are you? Yes, you do have to come to this farmer's market. I just enjoy coming. I get to go outside. I get to take a little walk for 10 minutes. It goes all the way down this street and down another street. And I get all the best fruits and vegetables for the week. Like I said, we don't buy our fruits and vegetables at uh, the regular markets. We don't even shop at regular markets. We shop at the farmer's market and Whole Foods. That's pretty much it. Um, one of my vegetable dealers. Hey, Jill. How are you have to, yes, Jill, you have to come. <laughs> You'll work only two blocks away. You have to come. Oh, the asparagus. I love asparagus. And this asparagus here is really delicious. It's very, it's like little baby, baby asparagus. They're really, really great. The ones you buy at the market just aren't that tender. You know what I mean? People always ask me about prices here at versus other places. So, you know, this is not Costco. This is not Target or I think they sell vegetables and things like that at those places. But uh, prices are not cheap here, but they are the best. And just like in real estate, you don't want to hire the cheapest broker. You want to hire the best. And you got to pay for the best. Why do you think Rolls Royces are so expensive and Maybox and Lamborghinis and Ferraris and Bugattis? Because they are the best. My orchid dealer, at least one of my orchid dealers, is here. Lots of beautiful, beautiful orchids. I like to buy big, um, already pre-made arrangements here for clients. They do like, everyone likes getting orchids, right? Let's just take a look. Oh, fresh honey. I don't like honey, but... Look at these beautiful arrangements. Wow. I think I may have to take one of those home with me. <laughs> Hi, Nancy. How are you doing? Thank you. What a nice compliment. I do appreciate that. Lots of colors. I do get uh, hanging orchids here. I love hanging orchids and they're very, very hard to find. And uh, the dealer usually only has them maybe once a year. So, uh, but yeah, hanging. Have you ever had hanging, hanging orchids? They're amazing. They just hang in the air from a little basket. You just water them, fertilize them, but there's no soil or anything like that. And they're, they're really beautiful. Let's take a look at the fish dealer. Let's see what we got here. So today we have fresh clams and mussels, fresh oysters. Ooh, do you like oysters? Dollar fifty each. I don't know price-wise how that is. Black cod, steelhead, lox, calamari, king salmon, big eye sushi, sushi salmon. So if you like sushi, I guess you can get the fish for sushi here. We don't really cook at home, and we don't really would we would not cook fish. It's just I don't know. I don't like the smell. <laughs> I've never been a big fish fan. I hate to say it. More flowers. <coughs> so one of the nice things about the market is we do have entertainment every week. Um, there's an area. Oh, this is the prepared food section. So in this section, they have tacos and hamburgers and kettle corn. Um, 
I have to be honest, the crepes, I've never eaten any of the prepared foods, but I hear they are wonderful. And once you've gotten your prepared food and you've done your shopping, you can sit outside here, enjoy the lovely weather, and um, with your family and kids, and then watch the entertainment. Sometimes it's uh, the school kids come and perform, sometimes it's individuals. Today it looks like there's a guy who's going to sing or play the guitar, which will be nice. Here's my berry vendor. See what do we have today? Black raspberries, blueberries, red raspberries. Sometimes they have white raspberries and all sorts of, they have figs today. Nice. What else do we have here? We have an espresso bar truck. So if you like espresso, um, cupcakes and empanadas, gourmet blended oils and vinegars, I believe. <laughs> Someone said Harry's berries didn't show up. More flowers. You all know I love beautiful flowers. So these are the fresh cut flowers from a local Japanese uh, floral company. Very, very pretty flowers. Oh, these are unusual. Look at those. Hmm. Not my style, but they're definitely unique. Mark spurs. Lots of nice choices. Citrus dealers. We have avocado. They have great avocados here. Westfield Farms from Camarillo. Tomatoes. Fresh raw nuts and dried fruit. Really, really good dried fruit. And if you're going to buy dried fruit, I like to get them here because you can get the ones without the sulfites. Sulfites are chemicals which a lot of people are allergic to. So a lot of these, see how it says sulfur? So you can get the ones, where are the ones unsulfured? They usually are much browner, so, because they don't have the sulfur to keep the chemicals. I mean, to change the colors, anyways. They're here somewhere. <laughs> we have our park rangers here. Oh, great eggs. Wonderful organic eggs. They're really delicious. Um, they're about $9 a dozen, which I didn't really think much about it, but uh, according to other people, you can get eggs for about $2 a dozen in most places, but these are really great A, double organic, really great eggs. So, doesn't bother me. Hi. Oh, and mushrooms. Sometimes they, have, they, they show you how they grow the mushrooms, which, which I think is really cool. So they have this piece of, I guess, oak sawdust. Ah, oak sawdust. And then how do you, how do you actually get the mushrooms to grow? Do you put seeds or? It's called mycelium, which is the seed for the mushroom. Okay. Wow, so they spray a liquid form of the seed on this oak um, sawdust block, and then that's how the mushrooms grow. That's pretty cool, right? And they have all different kinds. Shiitakes, I think. Oysters, or oysters, those are oysters, and these are shiitakes. Oh, we're reverse. <laughs> and red onions. And avocados. So that's the end of the farmer's market. This is the other end of the street where it's closed off. And here's the view. The sun's starting to come out. Now that I've given you the little tour, it's time for, hey Candy, oh my gosh. So Candy used to work here as uh, one of the apple vendors and now she moved up north. So we miss you Candy, I know, it was so much fun when you were here. So, I know you can't come back, but we do miss you, so. Greetings everyone from beautiful Beverly Hills, hope you have a great day and if you ever come to Beverly Hills for a vacation or visit, or if you live here, I'm still surprised to this day how many people who live here don't come to the farmer's market. So my advice is come check it out, you won't be disappointed. See you all real soon.